I am Dr. Santiago Chandiano, Chief of the Pediatric Section of the Oral and Maxillofacial Department at the Gregorio Marañón General University Hospital in Madrid. I am currently working as a maxillofacial surgeon in the treatment of cranial synostosis as part of the Biomed for the project. The surgical treatment of this cranial synostosis is an area of expertise for the Gregorio Marañón surgical team. This treatment requires an open surgical approach at 9 to 12 months of age and a front orbital remodeling using resolvable screws and plates. We have been investigating in image-guided surgery in cranial synostosis surgery since 2017. Our team is composed of neurosurgeons and bio &E engineers from the Washington University Children's National Hospital and bioengineers from the Carlos III University in Madrid. This research is supported by two different grants from the Spanish Ministry of Science and Innovation. As part of this ongoing research, we have published several multidisciplinary papers on customized virtual surgical planning and how to translate that planning to the operating room by means of 3D printed cutting guides and remodeling templates. Once the bone is remodeled, we have applied different surgical guiding techniques like augmented reality, intraoperative infrared optical navigation, or 3D structural light images. We were the first team to apply and publish those three different technologies in the customized surgical treatment of cranial synostosis. Apart from myself, Gregorio Marañón's Biomed 4D team also includes Professor Manolo Desco, Lorena Cusó, Monica Bello, and Rafael Correa. My role involves the development of an animal experimental model simulating the cranial synostosis surgical treatment of a child. In summary, this model is based on a five-week-old mini pig. Under general anesthesia, we will open the skin and perform a front orbital craniotomy. Once the bone is cut, we will insert a resolvable metallic self-expanding device designed and built by our colleagues from the Biomed for the project. Following the insertion of the implant, school CT scan and structural light will be used for dimensional changes follow-up. At six months, the bone will be retrieved and reossification histomorphomatic analysis will be performed. The study of bone morphology, density, and degree of metallic device resorption are secondary objectives of our study. Ultimately, our goal is to develop a new strategy in the surgical treatment of cranial synostosis based on a minimally invasive surgical approach and cranial bolt remodeling relying on a new generation of resorbable metallic self-expanded devices. This will provide improved health outcomes for patients suffering from this condition. Thank you.